Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies. And today is a day when even as optimistic person as I am begins to struggle. So we've got the lowest market cap it has been in 2018. Bitcoin is currently below $5,000. And what I want to talk about today is, is there actually a chance for Bitcoin price to ever break free from this terrible and super long lasting bird trend? And I'm no genius in saying that the last quarter of 2018 is almost coming to an end. And Bitcoin price alongside other cryptocurrencies in the market are trending south as opposed to expect a recovery and a bull rally that everyone expected. And the market performed extremely well towards the end of last year. However, 2018 has been a year of trimming gains with bears being in control most of the time. And the market cap has lost more than 600 billion in capitalization to the current 163 billion. Although the market value has been in a downtrend, the, in the industry has achieved far more in terms of development in 2018. And the infrastructure is better while digital assets are accessible almost everywhere around the world. So why the overwhelming drop in 2018? And we know that the cryptocurrency market has been in a tailspin for most of 2018. The declines were some last year with where Bitcoin explored new yearly lows while the market tanked below 200 billion to the current 100. 63 billion and putting this trend into the perspective of the market is essential for investors it is vital to realize that bitcoin price has in the last couple of years surged from trading at 800 dollars moreover the parabolic move last year also means that reversal is absolutely normal and crushes in markets are not new these are our surges to be fair. A broader look at Bitcoin price performance starting around November 2013 to January 14, 2015, we can see that the BTC USD dropped from over a thousand to a mere $150, representing a 87% decline. And this means that Bitcoin value and the entire market has a chance to reverse the trend. Many experts in the markets believe that too. And speaking of the industry leaders, looking back at the beginning of the year, various industry leaders released their predictions of Bitcoin value in the next 12 months, two years, and even five years. For instance, Tom Lee, they found out Farmstrat placed Bitcoin at around 25,000 by the end of 2018. However, he later revised this figure to 15,000, saying that this is a more achievable figure. Likewise, Magic Green, who is the founder of the Vero Group, recently shared his opinion on the future of the cryptocurrency market. And basically, what Mr. Green has said is that he expects the market to grow more than 5,000% in the next 10 years. Nothing that digital assets are not going anywhere. And they're basically here to stay. So am I. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys will see that tweet that I'm not going anywhere. But it all sounds really good. All those predictions are fantastic. And it'll be brilliant if it actually started happening. But how will actually this long-lasting trend reverse? So we've got uh, eToro's lead analysis of Matt Greenspan, for example, who said that it is hard to tell when this downtrend will stop. And Bitcoin price must find a bottom for it to revamp the trend to the upside. However, no one can say for sure when this will happen. And what I can say is the support of the market and the digital assets are getting from new players like institutional investors is indeed a good cue that we can start to see a positive change in a price sooner or later. We also have the Intercontinental Exchange, for instance, who is working on a crypto project referred to as BACT. And this product is expected to go live sometime in December 2018. We also got Fidelity, which is a financial service provider that prides itself in managing at least 70.3 trillion in assets has expressed interest in the digital market. And other market movers could be the approval of a cryptocurrency exchange traded fund, which could also happen possibly in 2019. And also, there are also other top market players like BackRock, who are planning for cryptocurrency services. We've also got the Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, who also told their customers that soon they will be having crypto services as well. But to whoever is still left in the market, what do you actually think will have to happen for the downtrend to purely just reverse? I've been saying for ages that I don't think we actually have found the bottom of 2018. And I've been saying I wish I will be wrong. And unfortunately, I haven't. I've not been pessimistic, I've just been sort of realistic. I still see a lot of people who claiming that, for example, 
ripple end of year will be 589 or happen in the nearest future oh people have been saying about flipping of ripple and bitcoin and i tweeted the other day and it was sarcastic never and unfortunately i understood it but it's okay i'm still speaking to twitter about creating a sarcastic bond anyway Jokes aside, let me know, guys, what you're thinking about the current market situation, what sort of a price Bitcoin is at the moment as you're watching the video. It is very interesting to see what the next few days and weeks will bring to our beautiful crypto market. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to Alcumbus Ladies. Follow me at Alcun Sarah. Or, you know, it's just Twitter. So if you guys enjoy it all, just give me a follow, subscribe to us and hit the like button and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye bye.